Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the formal written methods for multiplication, multiplying a two-digit number by another two-digit number, a three-digit number and a four-digit number. Now before we start we just need to clear up the fact that when we're multiplying by a two, three or a four-digit number it's exactly the same. We're just basically performing extra times table calculations, that's all. But we'll go through that in more detail as we move through the questions. And so on to question one, which is 75 multiplied by 26. So first thing we need to do is multiply by the units column on that first row. So that's five times six or six times five, which is 30, carry the three into the tens, six times seven, which is 42, plus the three here, which is 45, and that completes our units. Then we're going to multiply by the tens column. And remember, because it's actually 20 and not just two, because it's in the tens column, we need to place a magic zero in the units column. Then it's two times five, which is 10, carry the one into the hundreds. Two times seven, which is 14, plus the one, which is 15. And then we're going to add them together. So that's zero units all together. We've got five tens and zero tens, which is five. We've got four hundreds plus five hundred, which is 900. And finally, we have the single 1000 by itself. So that's a final answer of 1950. And then on to the next question, which is question two, which is 321. And that's multiplied by 23. So first of all, we're going to multiply by the units here. So that's three times one, which is three, three times two, which is six, three times 300, which is 900. So that's that completed. Then we move on to the tens column. So we place a magic zero in to make everything 10 times larger. Then two times one, which is two, two times two, which is four, then two times three, which is six. And then we add the two rows up together. So we have three units and zero units, which is three, six tens and two tens, which is eight, 900 plus 400, which is 1,300. And then finally, 6,000 and 1,000, which is 7,000. That's 7,383. And next we're on to question three, which is 645. And we're multiplying that by 68. So we place our lines in. Now, some people like to put the magic zero in first. Absolutely fine. It generally reduces the chance of you forgetting to put it in. So not a bad idea at all. I'll leave that up to you. So onto the units. So eight times five is 40. Eight times four is 32 plus the four is 36. Eight times six is 48 plus the three is 51, so units completed. And then we look at the tens. We already have our magic zero here. So that six fives are 30, six fours are 24, plus the three, that's 27. Then six sixes are 36, plus the two, which is 38. And then we add them together. So first of all, we have zero units. Then six tens and no tens, six tens. We've got 100 and 700, which is 800. 5,000 and 8,000, which is 13,000. Carrying over into the 10,000s column. And then finally, we have the 30,000 and the 10,000, making 40,000. For a final answer of 43,860. And finally, we're on to question four, our final question for today, which is... 2,154, and we're going to multiply that by 18. So 
we'll place our lines in. Again, you may like to put the magic zero in, absolutely fine. So, back to our units. Eight times four is 32. Carry the three over into the, th into the th um, tens for 30. Then eight times five is 40, plus the three is 43. Carry into the hundreds. Eight times one is eight, plus the four is 12 into the thousands. Then eight times two is 16, plus the one is 17. That's our units completed. Next, one to our tens. We already have our magic zero here. So first of all, one lot of four is four, one lot of five is five, one lot of one is one, one lot of two is two. And then we can add them together. So we have our two units now, zero units, which is two units, three tens and four tens, seven tens for 70, 200 and 500, which is 700, 7,000 and 1,000, which is 8,000. And finally, 10,000 and 20,000 for a final answer of 38,772. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.